Faith Journeys families. It's Kate Bazine, the person you've been receiving emails from. Um, I just want to give you a quick kind of overview of the program. Um, I know a lot of you have met with your guides. Um, if you have not, I encourage you to respond uh, to your guide that's been reaching out to you. Um, our guides are experienced catechists. They're here not only to help you through the curriculum and help you sort through and find what's best for your family, but also uh, they're there for you in genuine friendship um, to help you in your own walk with Christ. Um, I, there's a lot of wisdom and heart in that group. Uh, so please do respond to your guides when they're, as they're reaching out to you. Um, I want to take a quick minute to refocus on our overall goal of catechesis. I know a lot of families are overwhelmed right now, um, and I'm hearing from some families that uh, you feel like you haven't gotten anything done or you're just off to a rough start. Um, so just to kind of recenter it in the catechism, it's paragraph 426. It says the goal of catechesis is communion and intimacy with Christ. So that is our big over long-term goal for our children is to really help them get to know Jesus Christ. And we know that the church getting to know the liturgy and the wisdom of the church and through the guidance of the magisterium, that is our best way to get to communion and intimacy uh, with Christ. And if your child is still getting ready for sacraments, you know, you want to make sure that they have the proper disposition so that they really understand the beauty and the gift of that efficacious sign of an invisible reality. So they understand the grace that they're receiving. They understand the um, their openness to receiving that from God. But at the end of the day, it's a gift from God. Um, and it's he he's the one that should be running the show the holy spirit should be running the show so this isn't like your math homeschooling or other homeschooling where you, they have to learn certain things so that they can move on to another thing um this is a lifelong walk and as a parent you're just equipping them for that you're equipping them for a journey that they will be walking their entire life um, we're all still constantly seeking to keep our heart on christ and walk with him so that said, there's no behind, there's no deadline. I mean, we want some urgency because we want to get to know Christ every day, but um, it's really, um, you can't be behind. Uh, you, we're just gonna work on each week, each day, taking a step closer to Christ. So hopefully if you're feeling behind, recentering and that focus helps a little bit and just go back to that if you're ever feeling behind like okay my goal here is to help get my children to know Christ um, with that said we also want to keep our emphasis on mass that's one of the commandments is to honor the Sabbath um, so if you're in a week where you're having to choose between faith formation and mass always choose mass um, right now that might look like a facebook mass um, but right now always put priority on going to mass your children will learn so much just through the liturgy and if you are doing it on facebook mass you can feel comfortable responding to their questions and um helping them understand the beauty of the mass so that when you are able to return in person they're able to really participate um, so if you're making it to mass right now you're doing great if you're not make that your goal now, I want to walk through the website a little bit. You have a parent book, an activity book, and a children's Bible. Some of you have gotten those books and ran with it, and you're weaving it into your homeschool curriculum, and it's great. There might be some of you who are a bit overwhelmed. Um, so the website's really here to help with that. So if you go to the first steps, and click on that, you'll see this page where you see step one, step two. In December, there will be a step three. Um, this, I wanted to separate it from the months a little bit. That way, if you if it's mid-November and you haven't really gotten started, you're not overwhelmed by seeing that October date. Um, and our goal for October is really minimal. We want to meet with our family guide and we want to have a conversation with our whole family, um, whoever's in our family, whatever that looks like, um, about our faith. And then choose a activity from the book and meet with our guide again. So it's a very simple October. It doesn't mean you have to do all the activities in the curriculum. The curriculum itself says, choose, don't feel like you need to do all of the activities. Um, there's way more there. I mean, if you're doing it every day, you could probably get to it, but um, do not feel like you're getting behind if you're not getting through all the activities. So if I click on the God Talk trail, I get some videos 
that will guide a discussion. Again, these are optional. These are meant to set the tone for faith formation in your household to kind of provide that transition. And they engage kind of adults and older people as well with kids. I always say like, choose your favorite picture because it's really more adult catechesis. And they're meant to launch a discussion. Some of you may find them helpful. Others of you may choose to skip them and that is fine. Um, and there's a few videos each month. The Sophia sketch pad video is from the curriculum. It's a great video on marriage and the Trinity, um, but I wanna to get to the face steps. So our, again, our first trail is meeting with your guide. And then I have this God talk questionnaire up here. You can choose four questions. These questions are designed to gauge anyone. Even if you have um, non-practicing Catholics, people of other faith in your household, they can participate in this. It's just a fun way to kind of have a conversation together because there's no wrong answers. Um, they're, they're just describing their experience of God, whatever that is. And the goal of that is just to launch a conversation. Um, so this is fun. It can be done at the dinner table. You could just grab a few questions. You could bring it up every now and then. I've used this as a teacher a lot. I've used it in my own family. I've used it with adult seminars. It's always a fun time. Um, so that's there as a tool just to kind of get you going and feel like you're getting something done. Um, and you are. And then the reflection sheet is there every month. I want you guys to look at it at least the first month to kind of help set your own family goal, which will be unique to each family and kind of where you're at in your own faith journey. So if you've done that and then you've met with your family guide kind of at the beginning and a check-in, you've done the first trail. So I, my hope is that most everyone um, was easily able to do that. That's a pretty easy trail. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the November trail now, because this is where it's gonna get a little bit different. Again, we have our discussion starters. And then our topic for November is made in his image. Again, if you're not doing it in November, that's okay. Now there's a lot of scripture reading in the activities. There's a lot of really depth, deep content in there. Um, so I broke out kind of five overarching big idea questions that you're trying to get through as a family. Um, next to each one of these steps are the activities that would support this. But again, if you're able to kind of get to this objective using formed videos, through a conversation, through other resources you know, um, your objective is this question. So you want to really understand that creation story that kind of goes back to the first unit. Read those first three chapters as a family. That can be a really beautiful experience. Take advantage of that children's Bible. Um, I know in my own household, that was one of our favorite things to do has been reading from that children's Bible together as a family. Um, and then you really want to talk about what it means to be made in God's image um, and then describe what grace means to you. There's a lesson that will guide you through that in a really detailed way. But if you're feeling overwhelmed and you guys just want to have a conversation um, and just use that as your teaching goal for your children, uh, one of the one of these faith formation times you're sitting down as a family, um, this kind of simplifies that for you. Um, so each month there will be kind of five steps that simplifies the curriculum and pulls out those main objectives that you wanna to get to. Next month, I'm gonna incorporate some fun family activities as well. Um, so these faith steps are kind of, okay, we're moving forward. Um, that way, if you're not checking all the boxes on the curriculum, you're at least, um, you know that you're moving forward as a family, um, that you're growing as a family. Um, in February, hopefully, we're going to have a fellowship event where we will recognize families who have completed these trails. Um, and so that's why your family guide is asking if you've uh, completed the God Talk Trail or the Made in His Image Trail. Um, and really, if you're doing the curriculum, you should be completing the trails because they're based on the curriculum. Um, if the activities in the curriculum are overwhelming or not just they're just not clicking with your family this is another way to look at it another way to pull these objectives i'm trying to pull videos that support these as well um, there's two videos here that will support this um, kind of catechism i know my family really enjoyed the videos um, so it's kind of a both and use what works for your family to help you all continue to grow in faith 
Um, again, if you have any questions, you can reach out directly to me or your wonderful family guide. Um, they will keep checking in and remember that they are there for friendship in Christ as well as helping you sort the curriculum. And at some point, the curriculum is going to be really easy, but your guides are still there for you in your own faith journey. Um, we need to make sure our connection, our relationship with Christ is strong so that that can overflow into our families. Um, and it doesn't feel like we're just trying to feel our kids with head knowledge. St. Thomas Aquinas and a lot of great saints um, who had a lot of head knowledge always said that that heart knowledge uh, is more important. We want to have that heart knowledge, that experience of God. Um, so don't be overwhelmed. Don't feel like you're falling behind. Uh, try to make it to mass as a family and take one step at a time. Um, I will send uh, video updates as um, they seem necessary. Uh, Feel free to reach out with any questions.